What's up, everybody? I'm Dragon Deep, and welcome to my ultimate guide for Naganadel. My ultimate guide series is a series where I choose a Pokemon and show you sets for all three metas that I play. That is Smogon Singles, VGC, and Free For Alls. Naganadel is a strong Pokemon with a very good special attack stat and an extremely high speed. It's a poison dragon typing, which is a decent combination, leaving it with good stab and a respectable number of resistances, but it's not the best typing in the world. Defensively, Nagadanel is below average with 73 base HP and defenses across the board. It's not so fragile that it will never take a hit and always be okoed, but it certainly isn't a bulky Pokemon. Since its speed and special attack stats are so similar, we actually have a choice of which stat to boost with its ability Beast Boost depending on which nature and EV spread we use. This versatility can be especially terrifying on this Pokemon, and we will be making the most of it with these sets. As per my viewers' suggestions, timestamps will be in the description down below, allowing people to jump to the sets for specific formats if they don't play the others. Let's get started with Smogon Singles. Naganadel is currently OU and has been an incredibly centralizing Pokemon since release. It has created a meta where currently two of its best checks, Heatran and Assault Vest Tyranitar, are everywhere, and many players believe it's headed straight for Ubers. For now, it's still OU, so these sets will be focused on the current OU meta at the time that this video was made, but it should be easily adjustable for any development in the meta game, short of them on being moved to Ubers. Our first set is by far my favorite single set, and it's Nasty Plot Naga. Timid Max Speed Naga outspeeds everything slower than Greninja, which is the majority of this metagame, and it threatens many, many Pokemon, forcing them to switch out, often into the aforementioned checks of Heatran and Tyranitar. This set can run either Dragonium Z, or it can run a Life Orb, and with a Life Orb after one Nasty Plot, Hidden Power Fighting will do 89.7 to 95.2% damage to a max HP Special Defensive Assault Vest Tyranitar. This means if you've managed to chip away at the Tyranitar at all, it's unable to switch in on Naganadel because you will get that Nasty Plot for free, making a sweep much more likely. Draco Meteor will hit like a truck on any Pokemon that doesn't resist it, and Sludge Wave covers any fairy types like Clefable that would otherwise get in your way. After you knock out one Pokemon, the plus one speed from Beast Boost lets you outspeed pretty much everything in this metagame, including Scarfed Mons, turning this already threatening Pokemon into an absolute monster. If you are choosing to run the Life Orb variant instead of Dragonium Z, you might want to run Dragon Pulse over Draco Meteor, but in my opinion, Draco Meteor is actually better than Pulse even on the Nasty Plot Life Orb set, as it gives more immediate pressure and doesn't force you to Nasty Plot before you can take out certain Pokemon. Our second single set is more of a standard sweeper. This time, we've dropped our speed to just below our special attack so that we can get the special attack increased from Beast Boost. We're still running it timid so that we can hit 352 speed in order to outspeed Mega Metagross, the Lattes, Gengar, Terrakion, and Blossephalon, which I think are all important to outspeed. Again, it's a choice on this set between Life Orb and Dragonium Z, but I lean much more heavily towards Life Orb with this particular set. We're looking to do as much damage as possible before getting knocked out. Dragon Pulse and Draco Meteor again give us the choice between dropping a huge nuke or preserving our special attack stat. Sludge Wave is great stab, and Flamethrower stops steel types that would otherwise wall us. Again, if Titar and Heatran are giving you too much trouble, you can drop either the Dragon Pulse or the Draco Meteor for HP fighting, which I find myself doing more and more as they increase in prevalence. This set is much less fun than the Nasty Plot set, in my opinion, but it's definitely terrifyingly strong. With Smogon singles finished, we're going to move on to Naganadel's place in VGC 2018. I think with its decent typing and great speed, this Pokemon could be a real threat in VGC 18. It's not as bulky as the Pokemon you often see being staples in VGC, so I'm not sure it will be a staple, but I do think its speed hitting 190 when maxed out at level 50 is incredibly relevant, as that is one point faster than Mega Salamence, a Pokemon I expect to be incredibly common in this metagame. Due to the nature of VGC, we can make sure the rest of our team has good ways to deal with Heatran and Tyranitar and focus on what makes Naganadel so great. Our first set is another Dragonium Z set, but this time for VGC. We need max speed for the aforementioned Mega Salamence, so I've put the rest of the EVs straight into Special Attack. It does pain me to use 252-252 spreads in VGC, but for now, I'm not sure there's much of a choice. We don't know what defenses people are going to be running or what mons people are going to be running, so we need as much special attack as possible. I'm running four attacks here, but you could feel free to drop any of them for protect if one of these moves isn't needed due to your team's composition. Naganadel definitely suffers 
from four move slot syndrome. So I've gone with a more offensive set here. Heat Wave is excellent on this Pokemon. It's great coverage and hitting both opponents at once with such high special attack is always a bonus. I went with Sludge Bomb over Sludge Wave as it has higher single target damage and it doesn't hit your teammate, which I think is valuable here. Draco Meteor is an absolutely must have for this set in VGC. Since you're only facing four Pokemon, the special attack drop after you've already managed to get off a huge devastating Drake generally isn't that much of an issue as you're doing it towards the end of the game and dropping a massive hit late game with Draco Meteor is invaluable. This Pokemon is incredibly offensive and Draco Meteor makes the most of that. HP Ice is actually great here. Hitting a minimum of 84% on offensive Megaments allows you to KO an offensive Megaments without having to use your Z move or Draco Meteor if it's been weakened a little bit beforehand. More importantly, it guarantees the Oko on Choice Scarf or Offensive Z Move Lander Asterion if they don't have HP or Spadef investment, which is especially good when you outspeed even the Scarf variant of Lander Asterion if you've managed to get a Beast Boost off beforehand. I do expect players to start investing just a little bit of HP or Spadef if Nagan Nadel becomes really popular, as it does exactly 100% damage as its minimum roll. My second VGC set is a little strange, and you can criticize it if you want. We're using Nagan Nadel to set up its own Tailwind to then enable it to sweep using an EV spread that gives it special attack boosts whenever it gets a KO. I have found that with this set, either Focus Sash or Shuckerberry is probably best, and I'm not running Protect because once Tailwind is up, you really want to be making the most of it by dropping an attack every single turn and trying to get a KO every turn or at least as fast as possible. Replacing Draco Meteor with Dragon Pulse on this set is completely understandable, and if you choose to do so, I wouldn't criticize at all. In fact, in a lot of ways, I think that me including Draco Meteor is just due to my affinity for the move. This set hits 170 speed at level 50. This is very important because it lets it outspeed max speed Garchomp before Tailwind, along with Landorus Incarnate, Mega Kangaskhan, and of course Landorus Therian without a scarf. Which monster partner Naganadel with in VGC is a little difficult for me to choose. I don't want to always be saying in these guides, Landorus T pairs well with this Pokemon, but Landorus T is definitely a great partner for Naganadel. It deals well with Pokemon that would otherwise wall these sets, like Heatran or Tyranitar, and it provides a great offensive presence while simultaneously reducing your opponent's ability to deal with the threat. It does generally run Earthquake as its ground attacking move, which obviously would knock out your own Naganadel, but there are always downsides, and I don't think this one downside is worth not running them together. Tapu Bulu, while not traditionally good in VGC, might actually be a decent partner for this Pokemon. It weakens the power of ground moves, so don't run it along with Landorus, and it could be very important in preserving this fragile Mon, since its ground weakness is probably its most relevant weakness in VGC. Bulu also has a Fairy Typing, allowing it to switch in on Dragon moves, targeting your Ultra Beast, and take no damage. Variants focused on boosting special attack rather than physical benefit a great deal from other Tailwind users like Whimsicott or Suicune. Suicune especially strikes me as a great support Pokemon to assist Naganadel. Finally, we have our free-for-all movesets. The nature of free-for-alls lets us have a lot more fun with the moves a Pokemon can learn, and my first set takes full advantage of that. We're running Laser Focus, a move you almost never see in any form of competitive play, which will always make your next move be a critical hit. We follow this up with a huge Life Orb Stab Sludge Wave to hit every other Pokemon with that super powerful Stab Life Orb Boosted Critical Hit Sludge Wave hopefully getting you a few KOs. As you can see, we've run this modest so that we will get a special attack boost after we do that, allowing us to do even more damage on the next crit across the board super sludge wave. Laser focus followed by Draco Meteor is also super cool because even if your special attack stat has been dropped, since you're going to hit them with a critical hit, your special attack stat drop will be ignored. Protect is on there just to keep you safe from people attacking you after you get a bunch of boosts and stall out a few turns so that you're more likely to win the free-for-all. Our second free-for-all set is much more Ray-like and it's very, very fat. We're running Snarl here to cripple our opponent's special attack, allowing us to Toxic and Venoshock everyone to death. For those who don't know, Venoshock does double damage, which is a base 130 stab poison move to anyone who is poisoned. They also take that turnly damage from Toxic, which is great, and Protect will add to that by allowing us to both stay alive and to Toxic stall out our opponents. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that the competitive sets helped you out. If they did, please be sure to leave a like down below. And as always, I'm looking for suggestions for sets for this Pokemon for any of the formats I discussed today in the comments down below. And you can let me know which Pokemon you'd like to see me cover next. See you all next time. All right then, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, you can click up here to see more videos of this type on my channel. If you want to check out something else a little bit different, then you can click down here. And if you want to see everything that I upload, you can click the subscribe button right here.